golfer Tiger Woods is having surgery once again after his SUV crashed and rolled on a highway in Los Angeles. Let's bring in Jim Callan now for all the latest details. What do you got, Jim? Yeah, well, OK, let's start with the details as we know at the moment. Just after 7 o'clock local time in Los Angeles, yes, Tiger Woods involved in a single vehicle accident on a looking like a quite a straight stretch of road there, uh, having um, hosted a PGA event there, the Genesis Invitational at Riviera, just at the weekend. He was taken to hospital with multiple leg injuries after this serious car crash. He was driving alone when he rolled the vehicle just after 7am. He was extricated from the car using the jaws of life. The LA Sheriff's Department have confirmed that it responded to a single, uh, a single vehicle rollover. Um, the car was travelling on a, a stretch of road when it crashed, of course, on the, a very straight stretch of road, unaffected by weather, as we can see now. Uh, they've said that Woods was extricated from the wreck uh, by the Los Angeles County firefighters and paramedics and then transported to a local hospital, where we understand now he's requiring surgery for uh, cr uh, moderate to critical uh, leg injuries. Uh, his uh, agent, Mark Steinberg, released a short statement just moments ago confirming that he'd suffered multiple leg injuries. And he went on to say he's currently in surgery. We thank you for your privacy and support. Um, of course, on Tuesday, uh, he was making some comments uh, about where he's up to with his range of back injuries. We know that Tiger Woods, of course, has been off the golf course dealing with uh, yet a fifth back surgery he required at the end of last year and rather prophetically uh, spoke about his race now to be fit for the Masters in six weeks' time. As we can now see, and the serious nature of this crash, Pete, you think golfing is a long way off the uh, priority list for Tiger Woods. It is all about his short-term uh, health and safety at the moment. And the reaction already would indicate we've just been seeing things online from Justin Thomas, a, a very good friend and fellow pro, where... He was very emotional speaking about his reaction uh, to all of this this morning too. Uh, so it gives a, a level of just how serious his fellow pros are taking it, let alone those even closer to him in terms of his family. Let's just have a listen to, to Tiger Woods from just days ago when he was asked uh, during the coverage of the Genesis uh, Invitational just about where he was and where he is in terms of, of his return to golf and rather prophetically those words about would he be back in time for the Masters. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. I'm a little bit stiff. Um, I have one more MRI uh, scheduled so that uh, we'll see if the annulus has uh, scarred over finally and then I can start uh, doing more, more activities. But um, still in the gym, still doing um, the mundane stuff that you have to do for rehab, you know, the, the little things and um, before I can start gravitating towards uh, something a little bit more. So <laughs> I got to get there first. Isn't that yeah, an interesting point? So here's some vision just in the last 24 hours. The great NBA star Dwayne Wade had played or was certainly at least on a golf course with Tiger Woods after the Genesis Open. Uh, so it gives an indication of why Tiger was still in mm. LA at the time, just hanging out with uh, one of his mates. But certainly the reactions now online, Pete, are yeah. far different to these smiling faces. A lot of concern sure. for Tiger Woods, not just his, is he going to get back to the golf course, yep. but his... Uh, his uh, priority being his health and safety at the moment. In surgery right now to deal with uh, moderate to critical leg injuries yep. after that single vehicle okay. accident. All right, well, it could have been a lot worse, mm. it seems. Jim, thank you. We'll talk to you soon.